Hi, Matt Fulbright back here, and what I want to do this time is another Google Earth Video Advanced Tip. Let's take a look at the screen. What I've got here is an image overlay from an old project. You can see it's right here in my My Places. Turn it on and turn it off. And what these do, these image overlays are called ground overlays, and they are draped over the ground. There's going to be times where you want to do an image overlay as a screen overlay, which will put the image overlay in a portion of the screen that you desire. Here's the issue, and this is, here, this is why it's an advanced tip. When I do a right-click add, and I do an image overlay, the only type of image overlay you can author is one of these ground overlays. Ah, but I've got a trick. What I have here is some different code. This is the KML code. And this right here will put different images in different portions of your screen. If I use this, it'll put it in the top left. And this is the location to the picture it will show. That's why I have it highlighted in red. You may want to pause on this real quick to copy this code down. Or you can just email me and I will send you this Word document with all the different code. So in here I've got top left, top right, bottom left, which is what I'm about to use. And what, how it designates which one you're, where it's going to put it is with these zeros. See how all of these are zeros? That's why it's going to go to the bottom left. Where this one is all ones, and that's going to put it in the top right. I even have one that will put it in the center, and you'll see all of these are 0.5. All right. The reason most people do screen overlays is one of two reasons. One, either create a legend for what you've done, or to create a security banner across the top. So let's take a look at my screen again. Let's say I've done some Google Earth work. And I've got something like this. Zoom in so you can see a little bit better. This is in a place in Afghanistan. And this shows us a friendly location, different choke points along the way, and where different village elders are. So what I did pretty simply is in PowerPoint, created a legend for that data. And then all I did was clicked on it and saved each of these as a picture. And what I have now is that legend right here. So here's how it works. I'm going to right click on it, come down to properties. I'm going to copy the location. I'm going to highlight this, copy. Now go back to this Word document, and I want this in the bottom left, and I'm going to paste it right here. Right. And then at the very end, you're going to add the name of the picture, which is legend.png. And this is the magic to it. Check this out. Now what I'm going to do is copy this entire code. Go to Google Earth. And right here on temporary places, I'm going to right click and paste. And there's my legend. It seems like magic, but that's the KML code. And here's what's different about it. That's in the bottom left hand of my screen. It stays in the bottom left portion of my screen no matter where I go. Because I use the bottom left code. Now maybe I want to do a security banner. Let's do it one more time. Once again, in PowerPoint, I created a text box that said unclassified. 
I saved that as a PNG, which we've done in other videos. So now I go back to where I have saved the unclassified banner. I right click on it, go to properties, and I'm going to copy the location. Come to my Word document. This time, I want it in the top center. So I come here to my top center code. I'm going to paste right here. The new location. You have a slash right there. And it's my unclass, I believe I titled it unclass banner so I need to put unclass banner and now I copy the entire code come back to Google Earth right click paste and now I have my unclassified banner up at the top and my legend and my banner will stay right there in my screen no matter where I move into Google Earth. Now remember, this is an advanced tip. You may need to watch this video several times and that code can be very, very complicated. You can either pause the video and write down that code which could be very, very tedious and take some time or just email me. I'll leave my email down in the description box and I'll send you that Word document with all the different codes. Thanks for watching and map your world.